two, one, action on Clobber TV, USA, Peoria. Well, they asked me to come on and talk about the history of the Clobber Cup. And uh, so here's how she started a couple years ago. Uh, you know, we decided to do something for the young lads and the young kids for their hockey to make them better. Well, uh, in my day, all I was about was dropping the gloves, dropping the mitts, and pounding the living daylights out of, uh, out of anybody or getting the daylights pounded out of me. Oh, talk about uh, concussion sy concussion syndrome. <laughs> I don't know how many uh, I've had, but it's been a few. But anyway, uh, all all the game was about in my day was just I uh, just sticking guys in the gut, sticking them in the teeth, sticking them in the eyes, and sticking them in the nuts and anywhere you could just. Stick them or chop them or whack them or hammer them. But the game's changed, you know. It's a really gone to a good way. It's more about wheeling and stick handling and shooting, making a drop pass and all those beautiful things. So I decided to uh, give back to the game of hockey was to develop a three-on-three -three where they could wheel and skip and shoot and pass and do all the finer points of the game and then none of the fisticuffs and fighting and sticking and you know just just giving it to guys so we developed the three on three clobber cup and I just am thrilled to see those boys out there and we got some girls too dancing around them blades making the play scoring the goals and oh let me tell you it's beautiful to see and that's what we decided to do with the <laughs> Clobber Cup.